guys, Labby Dragon here. Uh, just a bit of an update. Um, things are kind of a complete mess in here uh, because I just moved in the last month and have not uh, completely organized this space in any sense of the word, really. Um, but this space should actually look really familiar. Uh, I used to live here with my mom. Uh, my mom, as I moved out like a year ago, um, my mom bought a house though right after she renewed her lease and our lease was coming up and we were living in that terrible apartment and so now we live here where half of my stuff was anyway, like this bunk bed thing uh, never left, uh, all of the stuffed animals that live on top of it never left. Um, uh, this is not my bedroom anymore. This is now, hooray, I have a craft room. Um, my camera is actually sitting on on top of my sewing machine because that's <laughs> what you do sometimes. Um, I'll give you a little bit of a tour probably in a second here. Um, I just wanted to f flip the camera on and do something. Um, I've been a little bit busy, not like super... I've been a little bit busy and just like not necessarily had time, uh, but I still want to do stuff. I really want to do stuff, um, but especially this past, this past week has been... It started off fun and then work set in and it was a nightmare, but anyway. So we went to, we went to St. Pete for a wedding and that was amazing. It was fun. We had like three whole days where it was just fun, except for driving is a little stressful, but it was fun. Uh, it was a fun trip. But then I came back and pretty much immediately went back to work, because uh, we have a show in for, like, uh, I think they're in for a total of 10, 11 days. Um, we're about halfway through uh, at this point, but they're... They're teching their show, so they're here for like a week, a little over a week, and it's a bit of a nightmare um, because it's a show they're they're workshopping uh, before they open in New York. Uh, they've been through a year long like workshop workshop process, and this is sort of a continuation culmination. Uh, I'm not sure where else they're they're teching before they go to New York to open because they open in August I think so pretty soon here uh, but so because they're not like a hundred percent set on what they want to do for everything it's been a bit of a mess and um, but my job has been to uh, make sure they have breakfast in their hotel rooms all week and that's a fun, interesting job when there are 16 people on their cast and crew. Uh, but, you know, you, uh, you do what you do. Um, anyway, uh, more fun things. Let's talk about uh, what I want to do uh, in general <laughs> that isn't, that isn't work-related. Um, I I know I say this every time I make a video. I'm like, I want to make more videos. And I really do. I really do. Um, sometimes I find a little bit of depression. I don't necessarily get up the motivation to do things. Um, sometimes shit just happens and I just don't do anything for months, you know, with, with the online presence. Which is terrible because I, I love it. I, I like doing it. Um, I have I have a dedicated few of you, and uh, talking to the camera is pretty therapeutic. And hopefully, as I start getting into more of these like uh, crafting tutorials, hopefully I'm actually improving Im improving people's people's skills and stuff. I don't know. I feel like I'm just babbling from my mouth now. Um, but yeah, so I have. I actually have an entire craft room now, and it is small, but it's also huge compared to like where the the room my craft room was before. Um, and it's actually like all just my stuff. Um, so let's yeah, let's take a little little tour. Um, Keeping in mind that this is a wreck because I have not, I just have not got everything all put together yet. It just hasn't happened. 
We'll start looking over this way. Um, oops, I didn't really mean to zoom in on that. So these were um, in my previous craft room, and this is a kind of how I had it. I got the, I loved the chance to reorganize my fabric collection um, when I moved because it was kind of starting to get sloppy because I had pulled stuff on and pushed it back on and all of that, um, all that jazz. So it just a little bit nicer now. I've got some garters and random junk hanging off of the end of the bed here. All the stuffed animals up there. Um, I should probably get rid of most of them, but I can't. I'm too sentimental about them. And uh, another one of my fabric shelves here with my uh, uh, the the person who sold these to me at the medieval fair uh, called them angel wings, but they're basically poi flags. They have the little fishing spinner, and you spin them like poi. And I have to I have to find an opportunity to work them into an act, um, but yeah, just more reorganized stuff, yay! And then a completely unorganized shelf down here. Uh, my books have they were all in boxes because they were supposed to go with me somewhere else, but then we ended up getting this apartment again, so they went back on the shelf. Um, so it's most of my books there, and there's. A great big mess on top of this. Uh, I want to clean this up and make it a better display, but that's just not gonna happen right now. Oh, and of course, the giant labyrinth poster and my Jareth action figure. Uh, I have this is held up. I made this like ages ago, um, and it's had various uses, but uh, I put it up there with the command strips and my little collection of Shopkins up there. Um, many of these are labeled for becoming jewelry and other things. Um, and some of them, I imagine, will just stay up there. I don't know. There's stuff. Photograph of me and my best friends. Little, uh, my little Hans shelf up in the corner there with some ponies. My jewelry holders. All kinds of stuff. Uh, my costume closet. It's also full of t-shirts I need to cut up and make a t-shirt quilt with. These are like, these are like t-shirts from when I was like so young. Like this one right here is from the time I was in The Hobbit in 2003. That's how old this is. That's, and that's how tiny I was. Like, I don't know if you can see how tiny the shirt is, but even compared to the other ones, it's so tiny. That would not fit me anymore. Uh, but yeah, I tie-dyed this. I was Gollum, so I got all the dark colors and I got to tie-dye my shirt. And there's like, oh, that was my first summer camp, my first theater summer camp, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And this such a tiny shirt again. Anyway, but yeah, stuff like that and like stuff from band competitions and whatnot. Um, and I just, they can't, they can't hang up anymore because I need this space for costumes. Like back here is all the costume stuff and wigs and ties and more costume stuff. And then my letterman back there and costume shoes more shoes in boxes, um, my DDR pad, uh, my Misty wig, uh, whatever, I think there's random like doll accessories in the Harry Potter box, um, then my sewing machine over here, it's still on, still on this, uh, little, like, TV dinner tray, basically, um, from Walmart, actually, yeah. <laughs> Some of my costumes are laying on the bed. We have this extra bed now. <laughs> um, and there's just junk all over it because it just has not been organized. Because the costumes can't go into the shelf until there are hangers to put them on and those have to come off of the hangers and I just haven't done that. And I've started uh, organizing over here, actually.
I've started. There's some of the extra patterns. Um, I have like two boxes for patterns, but still not all of my patterns fit in my pattern boxes. So there they are lined up there and there's some of the fabric that um, was given to me by my grandmother at various times and just kind of little shelf hanging out little got stuff together um, golly <laughs> and that's actually uh, pretty much most of the room there's there's all of this junk on the floor including my espion rug that I finished in college and have had since. Um, need to figure out where these hats are going, where the like mini top hats that are stacked up over there are going. Um, oh yeah, my bow board and some masks. And another one of my little uh, shelves here that I've put these uh, these things that the Shopkins Food Fair came in, the little jars, uh, I don't know what's going to go in those, but that seemed like a good place to store them. As well as, uh, you may have caught a glimpse before, uh, I have started storing my thread collection, and this is pretty much all of my threads except for white is loaded into my machine and black is out um, in the living room where I have been doing some hand stitching. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much my whole my whole thread collection right there, and two little two little foam core shelves. Um, and I painted that uh, my little my little mermaid black and white painting that I did for a class, and my teacher didn't like it because he hates Disney, uh, and I didn't care. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that is the craft room, um, and that's. I think that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, turn the camera back on myself. Do some uh, gorilla film work or something. Sorry. I hope that didn't make anybody sick. Um, so yeah, that's really all I wanted to. Um, that's all I wanted to do today. All right. Um, see you guys next time. <laughs>